In Jerusalem, Joseph of Arimathea, a secret believer in Jesus, goes to Pilate. May I have the body of Jesus so that we may bury it before the Sabbath? Yes, I'll give orders to the officer in charge. Reverently, Joseph takes the body of Jesus from the cross. Nicodemus helps Joseph wrap the body in linen cloth and place it in Joseph's garden tomb. The next day, the chief priests and Pharisees go to Pilate. Jesus said that after three days he would rise from the dead. Give the order for your soldiers to seal the tomb. We don't want Jesus' disciples to steal his body and claim that Jesus rose from the dead. Take the soldiers you need. Set up a guard until after the third day. So the tomb is sealed with a heavy stone, and Roman soldiers stand guard. That's the last we'll hear about this man who called himself the Son of God. But before the sun can rise on Sunday morning, the earth suddenly shudders violently. An angel of the Lord rolls the heavy stone aside. The soldiers fall to the ground in terror. When the earthquake subsides, they flee back to the city. At dawn that morning, Mary Magdalene and other friends of Jesus hurry to the tomb. Now that the Sabbath is over, they want to put spices on Jesus' body for a proper burial. They wonder who will help them move the stone. But when they reach the garden... The tomb, it's open. Mary runs back to Jerusalem to tell Peter and John that someone has stolen Jesus' body. The other women go in the tomb and find an angel seated there. Don't be frightened. Jesus is risen. Go and tell his disciples. When Peter and John hear Mary's news, they race to the tomb to see for themselves. Only his burial cloths are here. What does that mean? He rose from the dead. He said he would, but we didn't believe him. By the time Mary returns to the garden, the others have gone. She stands outside the tomb crying. Someone speaks to her. Why are you crying? If you have taken Jesus' body, please tell me where you put it. Tenderly, Jesus speaks Mary's name. She recognizes his voice now. Master! Jesus' friends are not the only ones to hear the news. The guards from the tomb go straight to the priests to tell them what happened. Alarmed, the priests don't want anyone to hear the truth. So they come up with a devious plan. Here, take this money. Tell people that Jesus' disciples stole his body while all of you were asleep. After Mary, Jesus goes to see the disciples. They are amazed. A few days later, Jesus appears to hundreds of his followers gathered on a mountain near the Sea of Galilee. He gives them one last command. Go out and share the good news with the whole world. Baptize the people in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey what I have commanded, and I will always be with you. Later, Jesus explains how he has completed God's work. He is the Savior of the world. Now it's their turn to carry on God's work. Jesus tells them to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come. Then, with his followers gathered around him on the Mount of Olives near Bethany, Jesus ascends into heaven. In awe and wonder, Jesus' followers stand and look up into heaven as if to catch one more glimpse of the master they love. Suddenly, two angels appear. Why do you stay here, looking at the sky? Jesus was taken to heaven, but he will come back the same way you saw him go.